Wushisha! It is I, the Dungeon Master. And today, we will be looking at... Ah, dungeons and... Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures in Forgotten Realms, the Magic the Gathering says. Ooh, let us go. So, here we are. I was unable to get a draft bat booster box of this set because... I don't... There, there's printing stuff and there's a lot of things going on, but I wanted to at least get a set of this and I can get a, a good collection of art cards, which can be useful for D&D, &D, and I'll, I'll explain here in a little bit. But, yep, there's 30 packs in here of 11 cards, I believe, and guaranteed for foil and cards on the list. But before we talk about that, I want to show something else related to Dungeon Dragons I found. This is a TSR Advanced Dungeons & Dragons collector set. And if you know anything about Dungeons & Dragons, you can see Forgotten Realms, Greyhawk, uh, Spelljammers, Dragonlance, Ravenloft, Al, uh, what is that? Al Dahim, and then Dark Sun. And this is based around the rule set for these uh, systems. And we kind of see what the inspiration was for some of the art cards in this set. I would have opened and showed you guys what was inside, but this is still com this is still sealed, and I want to keep this sealed. Um, for collector's sake, but if I ever feel like opening it up, you know I'll definitely make a video out of it and whore out some clicks. Uh, one disclosure as well, uh, when I bought this box, uh, the gentleman showed me it was sealed and then, for my sake, slipped in a couple of promo cards. But other than that, this has not been touched. And we'll see the full uh, promos he gave me here. I changed out playmats as well, because uh, I was noticing in a couple of videos, it kept wanting to focus on the art instead of the stuff up front. So we're gonna try this out. But first, Vorpal Sword. And then I also got a Fable Passage promo. Good stuff indeed. I do love me some Fable Passage and anything with the old school art. And let's just throw that to the cats. And we'll throw it up there. This is the first time I'm opening a full booster box of set boosters. I'm very mixed on set boosters. I like to open them as lottery tickets, but they do not have any gameplay functionality, so I do not uh, think that they are should be in a higher print than draft packs. Uh, you can disagree with me, uh, or you can agree, but I, I think that focusing on... Actually, let's get the beholder just kind of chilling out here for the rest of the the video, except for my light is off. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I think that uh, set packs are are fun, but they are not the future of magic. And, ooh. A little airy on that gear. Here we go. I don't know the order in... I, okay, tokens are first. So we got a spoiler. Back of a card. Ooh, check that out. Old school, like gargoyle. Uh, cloister and gargoyle. Neat. As your ship clears the edge of Waterdeep Harbor, you notice pirates sailing on the horizon. What has made them so bold? First off, cool. Check that out. Blue Dragon, full art. Uh, Scion of Stygia. Soul knife spy. Actually, let's let's make sure we are sorting things properly. Soul knife spy. Uh, uh, haven't done this in a while. And charm sleep. Purple worm. Classic. Dungeon map. Red dragon. Plus two mace. Ignis Smith. Orcus. Prime of undeath or Prince of undeath. Uh, precious drop. Uh, ridiculous drop, I should say. And that's that's our foil. So, let's actually put the token stuff on this side. We don't really care too much about that, do we? Yeah, nah, we don't. We, unless it's something spice, but... You know, I'm actually going to throw in some Boulder's Deep um, music <laughs> for this episode. I, I just bought the, the game to play it for the first time, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. That is that is an art card, right? Oh, check that out. 
look at that. I, this is the first time I've gotten a signature uh, art card, and it's a card with um, a stat block. This card can attack with rejuvenation, spellcasting, and uh, fire ray. Eh, not, not too bad. T uh, CR far, tiny undead. But awesome. Check that out. It is signed. So we'll put that off to the side. As you venture deeper into the bogs of the Neverwinter Wood, arrows in the trees, trunks suggest you might not be welcome. Ooh, check that out. The Jin Windseeker. Uh, then we got a Brutal, Scaled Herbalist, Winter Dryad, Rallying Maneuvers, Lurking Roper. Yeah, Roper. Trailissa Moon Dancer. Very pretty. Dawnbreaker Cleric. This is a cleric I actually wanted for my EDH deck. Uh, second Lurking Roper. A lot of ropers. Uh, then Delina Wild Mage. What does she do? Uh, roll a d20. Uh, create, a uh, create a tapped and attacking token of a copy of this, uh, that creature, except it's not a legendary, has exile target. Create one of the token rolls. Again. Uh, oh, cool. So you can kind of like go ham with her. Uh, checking for traps and uh, Eliwick uh, Tumblestrom as the token. That's our foil. Foils aren't particularly interesting yet. We've gotten one common, one uncommon. Where am I putting the foils? Oh, that's right. The foils go there. And the art card is... No, uh, oh, I thought she was going, no, 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 Mr. Hyena Man. But she's, uh, she's a monk. Gotcha. You expected to meet hostile drow in the ancient ruins, but they fled long ago. What darkness could have driven them away? Never went to dryad. Sacrifice to search your library for basic land. Not as good as other dryads, but that doesn't look too bad. I, I was very mixed on the art style of these cards, but so the commons and uncommons of, uh, of the alternate arts don't look too bad. We got our Seeker, Tungfei, Fangblade, Thieves Tool, Classic, Ray of Frost, fantastic. Tarnog, Demon, Fangul, a lot of demons in our in our box so far. Loathsome Troll, Direwolf Prowler, Druid Class, there you go. I know someone who'd be happy for anything Druid related. Nadar, Selfless Paladin, great card. Foil, Minion of the Mighty. There. And I felt that, that feels something about that doesn't feel right. Huh. Like what the hell? The card stock on the foil is different. I wonder if that's to prevent it from bending. It looks like it. But still, that was I had to feel it with the back of my hand to kind of understand what I was, like, experiencing. It just felt smooth. It felt a lot smoother than it should have. Oh! I am having... This is the roughest pack opening I've ever done in my life. Good God. Oh, by by Torgath beard. Oh, look! Zorn. Zorn. Then the check. Not... Not signed. Alarmed by the news you brought, the storm giant king of the Mount Maelstrom has called his kin to council. And then we've got the Knoll Hunter. You hear someone on watch. Uh, Dire Wolf Prowler. That is a gorgeous Evolving Wilds. Uh, there's a particular alternate art that I hope I get. Uh, some bag holding. A Rust Monster. Uh, Indigenous Smith. Uh, Arbor Pegasus. Unexpected Wealth, Werewolf Pack Leader, Hoarding Troll, and an Angel Token. We haven't... Uh, okay, we have hit a double rare pack. Um, forgot about just the last pack. And then, ooh, that is some classic looking like box art stuff. More islands in the crystal-studded waters below the surface. You uncovered an incubating egg of mysterious origin. Kind of like the flavor text on it. Room Shield Frost Giant Ward Three. Ward Robber. My sorting skills are getting 
worse as time progresses. I'm probably driving people mad. Mimic! Yay, look at the little mimic. Burning hands. Chaos channeler. Iron golem. Devour intellect. Magic missile. You can't go wrong with some magic missile. Varus, a silvery moon ranger. Hill giant. And a card from the list. A gutter snipe. Check that out. Huh. Sweet. I'm always a fan of something like a gutter snipe. Let's put you in the rare pile for now. Oop. We got the dryad there. Gorgeous art. Venturing beneath the desert sand, you discovered an alien power pulsing with inconceivable energy. Uh, the Reclusive Painter, mm, Grim Bounty, Devour Intellect, Shambling Gas, Magic Missile, Wizard Class, Sudden Insight, Hobgoblin Captain, you see something on watch. Ooh, look at that classic gelatinous cube. If you think of anything related to Dungeons & Dragons, you think of a gelatinous cube or a mimic. That is, that's a spicy one. Celestial Unicorn, and birthing uh, burrows. So we got two list cards and a gelatinous cube. We haven't hit anything that I feel is um, money yet, but we will see as we delve deeper into the packs, because we still got a lot to go. Spoiler. Always fire. The Manticore. The Manticore. I don't think I've ever used a Manticore in any of my D&D campaigns. You've traced the tension of the ten towns. Uh, you've traced the tensions of the ten towns to dwindling uh, reindeer population, but what has been hunting them? That's cool. Uh, I remember listening to one of the D and D books, and they talked about ten towns, and I really liked the idea of it. That is a cool iron golem. Uh, very, very red. You come across a river. Uh, Bale of the beholder. Eye of the beholder. A lot of beholding. Plate armor. Uh, Boyu battle hammer. Choose your weapon, Black Dragon, Dancing Sword, Sorcerer Class, and finally our foil, which is Mordenkind's Polymorph. Sorcerer Class, I heard, is something people are going to be searching after uh, for some modern decks. And Dancing Sword is just, just a solid white weapon. If you're going to be having a colored weapon, it's going to be white, I believe. Boom. Check that out. That is a tiefling of the sorcerer's variety. And she is hot. Oh, get it. Hot. Island. After careful studying, you've determined that the giant runes serve to track the movements of the planets. And they will soon align once more. Goblin Javelurner. And then... Put that there. Pegasus. But we'll just burn through the, the commons here. Oh, here we go. Look at this ugly monstrosity. Cavern of the Frost Dragon. It is based around the old uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons uh, books. And I think that these should have stayed book covers and not card covers. Oh god, I threw it on the ground. I'm just... I love a good tacky card, but this this is almost unpleasant to look at. So we're just going to put it right there so everybody can look at it. There Wolf Prowl, and then Booster Blitz into a treasure. Yeah, I just... I'm not I'm not a fan of that kind of art on a card. There, there, I am the guy that also bought the textless lands, but lands have been around in the game for so long and they've had very different variations. Hmm, little hamster man. He's in the uh, Boulder's Gate too. I just ran into him uh, early in the game, so... I don't remember his name. He is Minsk, beloved ranger. You venture deep into the heart of the mountain to determine what can calm its quaking rage. Yes, thank you though. 
I'm so glad you proved me wrong immediately after. I've wanted the Evolving Wilds just because I know I will run it in my uh, in my Riku deck. I run Evolving Wilds in it, and I think if I'm going to run any of them, it's going to be this. I was using the one from uh, Jumpstart. I found that one to be very enjoyable, but just because of how tacky it is. Uh, Temple of the Dragon Queen is another one. Uh, I wish this could come with a full art. I love anything themed around uh, Tiamat. So having a whole car dedicated to the shrine is, is pretty cool. Full straight. Eye of Vecna, cool. Another gelatinous cube. Swarming goblins. And awesome, finally, we have a dungeon token. These are going to be very sought after uh, for a while because they are very, um, very commonly used inside of the set. So you're going to be wanting to get at least a full set or maybe two of these tokens. And I've said that about a couple in the past. I know I, I've, I've uh, said before that, you know, certain tokens you're going to want, like uh, anything related to the set specific stuff. But it's very much true with Dungeon Del Delvin because they're so unique and you can't, you can proxy them, but it's just not the same. There's so much text and stuff. You want to try to get a clear, um, clear thing of it if you can. Gorgeous mushrooms, look at that. Plains. Seeking to learn why the ancients have fallen silent, you've made your way to the ancient Karens. Uh, Burrowin of Clan Urnder. Uh, Earth Cult Elemental. Let's see here. Hall of the Storm Giants. Gah, gorgeous. Gorgeous art on that. Teleportation Circle. Spear Dagger. Oh, look! And then we've got Gatekeeper of Malakir uh, as a list card. Very cool. So that was a. Uh, Two rares and a list card. I haven't seen a rare from our list yet, but there's still time. Still got two massive stacks of cards to go through here. And then a full art bag of holding. As you venture deeper under the burrows of Neverwinter Woods, arrows in the tree. Oh, we've already read that one. Direwolf Prowler. Mm, put that there. Uh, fireball. Spike Pit Trap, Contact Other Planes, Battle Cry, Goblin Morning Star, Leather Armor, Ochre Jelly, Foil Bull Strength, <laughs> and another, uh, yeah, another classic card from the list, Invisible Stalker, Hex Proof. So, not, not as good as last pack, but, you know, anytime you can get a card from the list, it makes you feel a little special. It's probably driving people insane that I'm not going after that last pack. Ooh, Demi Lich. Check that guy out. He's a card I'm hoping we get in this poll. Uh, mountain. I think we've already Mountain. Chattering Skeletons. Gretchen, Tree Willow, Druid Class, Shape Shift. Uh, fighter Class, Raven, and then Maze of the Mad Mage. So we'll throw that there. We'll throw you there. That was it, right? Okay, two. Alright, what is in this? Eldritch Bing! Tell me your secrets! You know, I just had the dumbest thought. I was like, oh man, they made a Strixhaven D&D uh, &D book. I wonder if we're gonna get a D&D &D book for this set. That was the dumbest thing I've thought uh, all day. I'm glad I caught that on camera as I karate chop and move things around. Your path lays across the spines of the world where every cave hides some new danger. Manticore. And there's Pixie Guide. Burp, 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 burp. Burp. Targul find uh, some prisoners. Eldritch Dragon. Uh, and then Minimus Containment. Eldritch Dragon's pretty cool. I think that's our first uh, mythic card, right? Check here right now. Ba, 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 ba. Do a quick scan here. Yes, that is our first mythic. Cool. I don't know what the uh, guarantees are uh, for this set as far as like mythics to rares. Zariel, Archduke of Avarice. Vernus. Hey, look. It's a beholder. An island. Uh, we've already read that one. Direwolf. Uh, my name is Contarius. 
Arrow the Hedar, Dutch Crawler. Mimic. Uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Uh, Dragon Turtle. And then Tiger Tribe Hunter. Cool. Another two rare pack into Hunter. I've always, ha I've always hated this ad. There's something about the, the, the way the, the character's smirking. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to sit across the table from you. You seem mean. You seem cocky. I don't want to play against someone who's cocky. Because when they lose, they're very poor losers about it. And then, ooh, check that out. That is gorgeous. I think that's called Close the Portal. And then we got a foil swamp with the turtle. And then Underdark Basilisk. Unexpected Windfall. Chainshell. Uh, Kellanen Rufus Painter. Grim Bounty. Something cool's back there. What is back there? Uh, Layer of the Hydra. Ar Armory Veteran. And then Tech. Oh, hey, a rare from. Uh, Holy shit. That's from. What is that from? I know, I know that icon. That's from the Phyrexian block. I just can't remember what it's from. Wow. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A rare, rare card. And then, yeah, the, the Hydra is still pretty cool, but. <laughs> me and older cards. I, I like me some older cards. Man, tech. I don't even know what the card, like, I don't ever remember anybody talking about tech. Oh yeah, I'm playing tech. Full art magic. Cloister Gargoyle. I think I'm gonna call him Cloister Gargoyle, something totally different all video too. Uh, bar the gate. I think I was kind of close. You meet in a tavern, you come to a river. Trickster's Talisman. Grezalix Illithid Sorcerer. Foil in Dire Wolf Prowler. Cool. Not seen a specific uncommon. I would like to see, please. Uh, Vecna. Cool. We got the eye of him earlier. And then... Cool. Old school gelatinous cube. And we got Spamp. And Pixie. Secrets. <laughs> so, Grim Wanderer is a weird card. It's supposed to be a goblin warlock, tragic backstory, and then you read the thing, and then it talks about, the card doesn't make sense, and that's what's hilarious about it, is because it's supposed to make fun of the people making like their first edgelord character. But I, I wanna know the story of why it's a goblin warlock. I just don't, I, that's, that part just blows through my mind. Uh, you find some prisoners, vampire spawn, inferno of the star mounts. And then Kedra at Baldur's Gate. What is this card to? Cannot be countered. Haste flying. Um, gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. When its power becomes 20 this way, deal 20 damage to target. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Whoa. If you go, in, you can go infinite. If you can go infinite red mana into that, I think that could be a win condition. Uh, pixie guard. Goes right there. That goes there. I don't think it's a good win condition, but can't be countered into play it and then just burn, 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 burn. Uh, Fae Dragon, we'll flip this over. Another Mimic, that's the, the stat card Mimic with that little, <laughs> I don't know why I made it, noise like that. Foil Plains, uh, Celestial Unicorn, Delver's Torch, Hawk, Planet Array, Fly, Five feet of rope, spear dagger, you find a cursed idol. Uh, orb of Dragonkind into Chaos Channeler. And then we'll put you right there. A lot of dragon stuff coming up. Um, hopefully we have at least one of each color dragon uh, for this. A goblin, you know, if you ever need something uh, quick for a new party to kill, you always choose a goblin. Gobbos. Forest. Before the Elf Queen will aid you, you must find a way to cure the strange rot afflicting the roots of the ancient tree. Hey! Speaking of Mimic, hello, little Mimic friend. Fate reversal. Ooh, there's something foil and all, uh, full art back there. Uh, Frogmeth. Infernal of the Star Mounts. 
That is a pull. That is probably our best pull so far. Look at that. What else we got here? Yeah, double rare for sure. Oh, that's, that's a cool pull. I need to restart my camera really quick so you're gonna see a quick flicker. Yay, for US guidelines between what is a camera and what is um, a re video recorder and, and how buying one does not facilitate the other. Gorgeous wolf token. Eh, secret layer. Yeah. We'll go over here and flip it into Morningkin. Uh, he was Richard Garriott's uh, personal character for a long time. So Mordenkind is the character you want to... <laughs> you want your characters to be. We got our alternate art beholder. Priest of Ancient Lore. Corn, Potion of Healing. Sheshra, Death's Whisper. Warlock class, not the class I want to see, Rain Feeble Albert, Ranger Hawk, Forsworn Paladin, into Temple of the Dragon Queen. Look at that. That is a nice foil. With all the uh, altars and stuff uh, shimmering. That's a nice one. And then, yeah, we got our, our rare here. I'm going to actually start this pile back up. Because that's commons and uncommons. Should have done this off camera, but... Purple Worm. Purple Worm, if you're a friend of the Adventure Zone, or a fan of the Adventure Zone, this is uh, what they use during uh, the 11th hour. And then, yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Another another monster that's classic that I just have to use myself. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Well, just, all right, we get it. You re you heard my pleas for Bayamot, and so you gave, me, uh, you gave me this alternate art. Steadfast Paladin. Paladins are great to see. Paladin Shield. Monk of the Open Hand, Railing Maneuvers, uh, Lurking uh, Moonblessed Cleric. Uh, this Cleric one I want to run? You may, uh, one moon bless, and you may search your library for enchantment card. No, that's not what I want to run. Wizard Class Treasure Chest, Hannah uh, Ruin Seeker into Stony Brook School Man Master. What was the rare? Was that a treasure chest? It was. Okay. Good treasure! Good show, good show. Another spoiler into a buttle. Hi guys, can I play with your horse? That is, the seating on these are kind of creeping me out, I gotta say. Plus to Mace, Dwarven Champion, Leather Armor, Trissa. That's the card I wanted. That's my cleric class. Dip -a -dip -dip -a -dip -dip. Bop, bop. Moonblast cleric. Uh, Valor singer. Goblin hunter. Wish. And then kick in the door. You may play a card from outside, uh, a card you own from outside of the game. Another one of those cards that is very divisive in the rules uh, category because technically it is what is in your sideboard, but not everybody wants to. Um, play by that rule. I, I even a lot of times I, I can just pull a binder up and then pick any card I want. And yeah, if if, oop, if any if your friends are cool with it, that's fine. Ooh, it's an owlbear. Ooh. Uh, yeah. And then a bugbear. We got all sorts of classics. Vain death, Manticore, Purple Kill, Frump, Wizard class, and then Secret Lair. We'll take the frumpf and the wizard class. Put that over there. Pop that there. He is tapped. I am tapped. Treasure tokens. What every good adventure strives for. And then you've got, I believe that's fly. And another owlbear. The, the game, th these packs are freaking me out, man. Ray of Frost, Tiamat, and Wandering Troubadour. Look at Tiamat, though. Gorgeous card. I don't think it's as practical as a lot of people think it is. Uh, everybody wants to be, you know, this to be a commander staple for D&D, but I don't know. For seven mana, her effect is put a lot of cards in your hand and shuffle your deck for 7-7. Seven, seven. 
it just it feels like a lot of setup for not much maybe as a commander um, but yeah. hey, another mimic I'll take that great X army veteran boots uh, Dritter you know tavern paladin class even though yeah love me some paladin class and then flame skull foil thieves tool into chemist insight wow that is a loaded pack mythic rare uh, uncommon and a foil uh, well all packs come with foil but I mean a rare a mythic and a card from the list not a bad pack Wing and a miss. Then we've got Swamp. Then our alternate art is Fair Diverse Chosen. I think I didn't highlight that very well. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. I love it because if you, like, you can probably see it on camera. The way the art is set up, it is a beholder. And it looks like it's right there. I, I love the subtlety on it. It took me a while because I knew what they were trying to go for. I just couldn't get my eyes to adjust to it. But that looks really good. And then we've got Rogue Class, and then Circlet of the Moon, and then Tomb of Damnation. Or Tomb of Annihilation. And Rogue Class and Hive. Put our land there. Put that there. We're at four packs left. Let us see. What treats are in store for me? And then, huh. The dragon. And we got the mountain. Pegasus. Valor Singer. Your aunt. Let's put that over there. Amber's the road. Burning Hands. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Brazen Dwarf. Ho! Oh, what? Hello, Skullbriar. Okay, I'll take a skull briar. I will not complain to that at all. You have nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons, skull briar. What are you doing in my booster pack? Cobod, it's the cobod. And forest. Then we got the Almer, inspiring bard, shepherd, herda, barbarian class, critical hits. Uh, let's see, instrument of the bard, dragon turtle. Pixie Guide. Dragon, oh, yeah, Dragon Turtles are cool. I haven't I haven't really committed to any like sea adventures in D and I don't think we ever got to the point where people were ready for something complex as a ship battle or like a sky ship. Alright, we got two left. What will we see? Island, full art white dragon. Null, half a monk, curse, thief, keen, split, uh, Kellyan, the deck of many things. Oh, the deck of many things is such. You want to talk about a card that is well designed for what it's supposed to do? The deck of many things is uh, one of them. And then a foil true polymorph. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to end it. That should have been the last pack, unless we got something spicier. But this is just going to be a disappointment. I've ruined so many campaigns with Deck of Many Things. Not because I didn't care, but to teach people a lesson. <laughs> it just sounds so bad. I gotta teach you a lesson, you won't forget. Portable Hole, Find the Path, Manticore, Sphere of Annihilation, Potion of Healing. Ah, not too bad. But yeah, that last pack was pretty spicy. Um, so I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to look over what I got and see what I'm excited about. So going through the cards that I opened that I'm excited about, uh, I definitely think uh, we've got Evolving Wilds just because it's just so tacky and it looks like an altar and not an official card. Uh, Skullbriar, even though he's not worth much right now, uh, it's cool to have a original commander from the list. Tech... It's a card from Invasion. Yes, I had to look it up and figure out which set it was, but Invasion is always cool. Inferno of the Star Mounts is... should be worth more. This is the fourth highest card uh, in value on the list, and this is only like 25 bucks. Foil. And that sucks. Uh, same goes for Team. Teamont is the highest 
valued card in the set, uh, main print as well as alternate art, and it's only 25. Sphere of Annihilation, deck of many things is like seven. This is like two bucks. Like, it, it, the set is already undervalued. It is the, the the amount of which cards are worth is just plummeting, and I think that is because Magic is is the the bubble has burst. And I think the fact that there are more set booster pack boxes than there are actual draft boosters and the amount of cards that you can get per pack. You saw how many. Look at my stack of rares. This is rares and alternate arts. And some cards from the list, but that's still a rare occurrence to happen. It's huge. Like, if we compare it to the, like, well, that's the foils. Um, it's insane. I, I also feel that the amount of commons and uncommons I have is vastly low for the amount of uh, money I paid for this. Uh, I will never... <laughs> I will I will be very blunt. Uh, I did it once because the set is special and there were some things I wanted, including some of these art cards and these alternate arts. Like, I'm, I'm happy I have an old school mimic, a gelatinous cube. Um, some of these look really awful, but I'm happy I have them. Blue Dragon is nice, but yeah, it's this doesn't make five dollars a pack worth it, and especially not a box. I will still probably buy one once a week as like my replacement to a lottery ticket or something if I have an issue to open, open a pack. But if I have a choice between Forgotten Realms, Pokemon, and Digimon, it will be Digimon, Pokemon, Magic, because the set value is so low. Uh, the cards just, it, it's just not, I don't, I don't feel that there's many cards in this set that I want to play. And thematically, as someone who really enjoys Dungeons and Dragons, the novelty, if you pull away the novelty, this is a subpar set. This is not a good set, mechanically. If, if your highest rated card is 25 bucks that's not good that is not good at all <laughs> so hopefully the Industrad set is better because this is not looking good for magic um, and there is the counter argument of like hey well this is good that means you know people will be able to buy the cards they want and get it individually that part yes that part is very good but if I'm dumping a hundred and something dollars on a booster box, I would like, if I ever wanted to resell uh, individual cards, um, to make a money back or be able to sell the cards I'm not going to play with and be able to afford to buy stuff I do want for Standard or Commander. Because there are a couple of cards in the set that I did not get that I wanted. So, yeah. Not good. Not good at all, but hey, uh, that's my opinion. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys got in your booster packs, and if you're actually able to see those rare draft packs that people uh, yearn for, and uh, leave it in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching, sharing this video if you can, ringing that bell, all that other stuff that YouTube tells me to do in emails. And... This has been Justin from Lost Words Tabletop Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.